Um, Stephanie. Here. John. Here. Travis. Here. Nate's absent. Okay. Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the Republic for which, for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Consent agenda, any additions, corrections? We need a motion. So moved. Second. Second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Public input. Does anybody here want to speak about something that's not on the agenda? Okay, miscellaneous. Approval of proposal from electric pump for replacement pump for the ponds lift station and duplex Aldern phase conversion control panel. This is what we talked about last time, right? Yeah. Everything we talked about last time, we just want to do it officially. And we're going to put on the options on that also, too. Add, those two, add those two options. Okay. Oh, I, don't, I don't know what the total would be. Hold on, I can tell you. Do you know what the total is with the options, Travis? I don't. I don't have it in front of me. One second. Do we have a motion to approve that? Hold on a second. One's for 3326 the other one's 986 So what's the total? Yeah. Do we have a motion? So moved. Motion. Do we have a second? Second. Motion is second. Doug? Aye. Stephanie? Aye. Joe? Joe. <laughs> John? Aye. <laughs> Travis? Aye. Okay. Public hearings. Uh, need a motion to go into a public hearing Move. about the development agreement? Second. Motion and a second. All those favors signify by saying aye. Aye. Okay. We're in public hearing. Any comments? Audience not very bold. Second. Motion is second. Doug? Aye. Stephanie? Aye. John? Aye. Travis? Aye. New business? No, you gotta do resolution. We gotta do the resolution. Oh, yeah. Resolution 12 2019 approving development agreement with Mustang Investments LLC. Authorizing the annual tax and credit instrument prop, prop payment. Motion. You what? Motion. <laughs> Okay, we've got a motion. Do we have a second? Second. Okay. Doug? Aye. Stephanie? Aye. John? Aye. Travis? Aye. All right, now we can do new business. Any new business? Correspondence? No. Okay, reports. The engineer's not going to be here, is he? No, no. Uh, oh, go ahead. We're talking with Dave and boomerang out there we're moving right along with the new water and sewer that's going in um, we're testing water right now that's why if anybody's made complaints about discolorization we've had to flush the hydrants out there to, to meet our limits and do what we have to do for testing so we apologize for that um, I had them look at the pavers again they're not draining We've talked about this in the past before, the, this is on Gillette, where the care center put in. We've got pictures of the dirt and everything. He's gonna look at it again today, and then hopefully by next meeting, we'll have some sort of direction on what we're gonna do and where we're gonna go to try to fix our problem there. Um, so what's happening, is it just? I think we're, we're hoping it's just dirt. Okay. Because we actually had, I don't know if you guys were down there, we've actually had this, and nothing on Novak, it's all Gillette. The, the bricks themselves, a couple of them have popped up because of freezing. Right. So we've had to set a heating blanket down there and thaw it out to get it to lay flat. So I, I don't know if our option is we can back all the um, granular out and then just sweep in new or if we gotta be, do more than that. So. And is that, that strip that runs along the, that west side that? That's that, part of it, yeah. That's part the of The ice, it. where the ice is, yeah. it didn't go away, so. Okay. Yeah, because we poured the salt to it and it'll just melt. It'll, there's no place for it to go. Right. So, um, we've been doing potholes with uh, cold patch and that seems to be holding pretty well. 
and we're with the thawing and freezing we're going to do what we can with main street just bear with us as soon as the plant opens we'll get her fixed don't say that as soon as the plant opens we'll get it no we're the first thing on the oh okay <laughs> but it's, it's going to be april yeah Who's going to do that? That's how I'm telling. And I had, I had Connie also look into, um, in Dallas, look into doing the whole downtown on that side instead of just patching it, doing basically tear out, not tear out, but grind, grind. grind it down and it'll all be asphalted from like both, both sides of it. <coughs> instead of just doing a piece here and a piece there and everything. I can't remember what the total was for to do the extra. It was thirty-two thousand. Are you talking about like from the post office no, to the? Just, just on that side. Oh, just that tore, one. What's yeah. tore up? But what's, do all of it. What's tore up already is already paid for. But then to redo every, I mean, to do everything else is a thirty another thirty-two thousand. That'd be from History Center all the way up to Buddy Shank's old house. And that's on both sides of the street. Yeah, that's yeah, from that'd curb be the whole curb. Street. Um, intersection to intersection. That's probably a smarter thing to do. So I know she was, was, she was looking for money and trying to figure out how to pay for it, and said we'd talk about it next week. So yeah. Is there yeah, what two spots that on the other side, on the north side, that are there's two or three that I know of. I think there's one up by the body shop. Well, and that intersection is bad. In the intersection. Well, the intersection. Remember, we're only going to do. Uh, like a three inch pour over that because we need to go through it with water anyways yeah i'm just saying it's yep. it's probably the work some of the worst of all of it those right. big potholes there yeah. and a lot of that we found out was ice is what's is not really potholes in the rock it's the ice thawing in different spots so we're trying to scrape that off today and get that fixed too so but i mean it's if it if any time to do the whole thing i mean because sooner or later we're going to have to replace all the downtown streets anyway but this is the time to do it i mean they're gonna have their equipment in here to grind it and everything so do how long's it been how long's it been since we did anything there yeah i think the last thing we did there was chip and dip mm -mm. not downtown no you guys redid it was before i started yeah it would have been 2000 early early 2000s i think because didn't we do the street when they did the the sidewalks the or the planner things or the whatever planner things and all that? So it was all part of a project, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. I think it was. I can go and look. I know <clears throat> we might be due for it anyway. So it's been. I bet it's been all of twenty years. It Is it be. possible to put some signage up, just letting people who are not from town realize before they hit it that it's what it is? We'll have to. I'll see if Rickard can make me something or go to Beeline and rent something, but I'll put a sign up. On Rough there. road or something. Yeah. Yep, we'll get her done. All right. Okay, any more? <laughs> Do you have any public works? Or that was that? That was everything. Come on. Okay. Police chief report. Pardon You're not even on duty tonight, and you no. still had to come. Right. She was late, too, though. I want to record. Right? Yeah. <laughs> she's not late. Well, she's no. perfectly on time. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. I started there in February, and my fifth graders will be graduating on Wednesday at 12.30 at the Lions Den. Um, it's usually just about 30 minute graduation ceremony. They get their diplomas or their degrees, and the kids that have won the essay contest get to read off their essay to the whole group. So that will be on Wednesday. Um, the elephant in the room of what happened over the weekend um, that is still under investigation. Hopefully we have some uh, good leads on it that we can 
find who might have been responsible for the bomb threat at Whitey's. And that's all. Thank you. Oh, wait, I do have one question. Okay. Wait, she has a question. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, this was actually just asked me tonight. The Highway 30 flashing 35 zone. Mm hmm. Is that going to be flashing again at any point? It'll be flashing again starting next school season. Okay. So that got struck by lightning late fall. Nice. And after arguing back and forth with the company that's made it, which is in Canada, and they never answer their phone, you leave them a message, they call back. Um, we put it in the budget to get two new ones there. Yep. Gotcha. Are you using the same company? No. We're using Just the same company that put, our, <laughs> <laughs> that put the stoplights in. So they're in Iowa here and they can be here within a couple hours if we need them. So. Good. Okay. Fire chief. No fire chief. City administrator, do you have anything for us, Christina? Um, I know she's been working on grants and cleaning stuff up this week and we also just put in, um, I worked with Southeast Lynn in nominating them for the All-Star Award that okay. we won for our solar. We put it in for their kitchen. So that's been submitted, we'll find out in April. And then I know in her notes here she did just see, ask if any of you, she needs to know if she's going to have a quorum for the April 1st school board meeting. For so, what? Um, she put in, Connie had put in her notes, the next joint school board wow. meeting is April 1st at 6 p.m. She needs to know if she'll have a quorum from you guys. Is that on a what day? That is so, on a Monday, yeah, and I will Monday. actually not be there. Okay. So. I will be Check here. the calendars. Hopefully. Let her know either way, so that way she knows, so. Yeah. Okay. I have no report. Are you going to let her know that, Christina, or do you need me to? No, I can let her know. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. I'll be there. Okay, Doug, we get to start with you on council report. Uh, nothing, just thank the guys for the work they've been doing in the hours. And like, like Travis said, just got to be patient with the road out front on Main Street. I mean, we're going to get it fixed. But John? Yeah, that, thank you to the city crew for doing what they can with the Main Street. That's all I have. Steph? Um, I have a couple things. So one thing is Jake Siggins, uh, I don't remember the date, but anyway, he was driving, there was an accident in front of him, guy in the vehicle, the vehicle rolled multiple times, guy was ejected, Jake got out, did CPR. And that, that guy actually survived, and they said, you know, that a large part of it was due to the fact that Jake did CPR when he did. So he um, just recently actually got a, let's see, Red Cross Hero of the Heartland Award. There were four oh, nice. people who got it, and Jake was one of them, the only one <coughs> from anywhere around here. So I just, you know, that's a good story, and I just want to congratulate Jake and um, recognize him for that because that's, that's good stuff. And then if they do not have their sidewalks, shoveled or the ice, what is, what is our protocol for that? Do you know that answer? I do, um, which is actually good because <clears throat> um, we don't have a set fine. We don't get a set of fines as far as um, somebody pushing snow into the street or sidewalk. It has to go through the entire nuisance process, Okay. which is a long time. Uh -huh. So um, if somebody, if there's a complaint on a house, of snow or ice, then we go out and we tag it until we have 24 hours. Um, if it's snow related, then kind of the guy to go out and clear it. Um, some of the ice on some of the sidewalks is so thick, though. Even the city guys couldn't get it done. And I would sure. want them to be out there trying. Hopefully, with the uh, warmer weather this week, they'll get some of it thinned out. And uh, we'll remind residents that they need to take care of it. But if in the situation of somebody doesn't, city takes care of it, then they apply it to their tax bill if they don't pay off the bill. Um, but similar to the uh, pushing the snow on the street, we would actually have to cite them in the court. Mm -hmm. you know, if it was something more of like a parking ticket fine, I think that could be understood a little bit more. But if, if I was to go to you and say, okay, you were pushing your snow on the street, it's actually a simple misdemeanor and you have to go to court. It's not just a fine. 
well then you go to court and then they get this three hundred and fifty to seven hundred and fifty dollar fine. So I think that's kind of where we kind of have lost out because our thought my I'm sorry, I won't speak for everybody else. My thought process was uh, the cost for the city attorney to represent all of those would far exceed in the fine amount that would be paid. Well, we don't want to be nasty either. I mean, it's just you, if you're a homeowner, that's part of your responsibility mm -hmm. and your duty. And the only reason I bring it up is because it is getting nicer and people are going to be out walking. It's just going to happen. People have cabin fever and they want to get out. Mm -hmm. So just, you know, be responsible and clear your sidewalks, whatever, so people can get through. And if the city okay. does the snow removal, it's quite expensive, if I remember. $75 so, yeah, or something. Yeah, minimum is usually a $75 bill to them. So. Yeah, so you can obviously go find somebody to shovel your sidewalk a lot cheaper. Yeah. Okay. Travis? Uh, I don't have anything. Okay, anybody else have anything? Meeting adjourned.